video we're going to be making this gorgeous black forest cake and let me tell you this is the best black forest cake I have ever had. So first you're going to grease and line a 6 inch round pan and set that aside. And then to your flour you're going to add in your cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda and the salt and you're going to mix everything up and then set that aside and then you're going to beat your egg whites till they are fluffy once they start to form soft peaks you're going to add in your powdered sugar gradually Beat the egg whites till they are glossy. Once that is done, you're going to add in your egg yolks and the vanilla extract. And then beat this in. And then you're going to gradually add in your oil. And then beat this for 1-2 to two more minutes. And then you're going to add in your dry ingredients. And fold them in lightly using a spatula. And make sure you're very gentle and do not over mix the batter. Then you're going to pour this in your lined pan. And tap it to make sure any air escapes. And then you're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. inserted in the center should come out clean and then you're going to again tap the pan and this makes sure that the cake does not sink and then you're going to let the cake cool completely meanwhile you can prepare your sugar syrup so you're going to add your sugar and your water to a vessel And then start the flame on medium and you're going to let this boil and let the sugar dissolve and this will take about five minutes or so And then you're going to cover this and let it cool completely. Now meanwhile you can whip your whipping cream and here I'm using this non-dairy whipping cream. And then you can add in your sugar and beat this on high speed till you have stiff peaks. And here I have used this large star tip. So you're going to take some of your whipped cream and add it to a piping bag fitted with this tip. And then you're going to set that aside. Now go ahead and shave some of your chocolate and here I'm using bitter chocolate by Morde. Also, you're going to need some canned cherries and these are the ones that I'm using. Now to assemble your cake, you're first going to remove your cake from the pan. You can cut off the top layer. And then divide the cake equally into three parts. And 
then you're going to soak up your cake layers with the sugar syrup. And then you can take your first layer and spread on some whipped cream. And top this with some cherries. And then you can sprinkle on some chocolate shavings. You're going to repeat this with the second layer. And then place on your final layer and frost the entire cake with whipped cream. And then you can pipe some stars at the border. Place the cherries on top of the stars. And then you can just sprinkle some more chocolate shavings in the center. And then you're going to also press them at the sides of the cake. And that's it, your cake is ready! And I highly recommend that you refrigerate this cake overnight because it gives it enough time for the flavors to blend. And the next day, you can go ahead and slice your cake. You can see that the cake is extremely moist and it just melts in your mouth along with the whipped cream and the juicy cherries and chocolate shavings just add to it. I hope you like this cake and subscribe to my channel for new recipes and I will see you soon. Bye!